Hello to all of you, my lovely students in the ninth grade. How are you today? Welcome back to my English lessons. It's me, your English teacher, Imani Jafri at Al Farouk Academy. So, as I told you, the title of this unit is It's a Mystery. So, in this lesson, you are going to Define the meanings of some words and the phrases that you are going to read in the text. And you are going also to read a part of the text and answer some questions. So, as I told you in our previous lesson, in this unit, we are going to read a story. The writer of this story starts narrating the events from, excellent, from the middle. Why? in order to appeal or attract your attention. إذا زي ما حكينا الحصة الماضية في هاي الوحدة إحنا رح نقرأ قصة. الإشي الغريب في القصة هو ترتيب أحداثها. أحداث القصة بلشت من نقطة الذروة from the middle. Why? حتى يخلي القصة جذابة أو مشوقة أكثر للقارئ. Okay? As I told you in our previous lessons, the title of this story is Z for Zakaria. So the story starts when the person is afraid or frightened. But why? Because he or she saw a column of smoke comes closer to her or his house. So the narrator of this story seems to be again excellent, afraid and scared. By looking at these two pictures, we know that the narrator of this story is a female. She lives alone and she saw a column of smoke by her binocular. So now she is afraid. Why? Because she is asking herself, who is carrying this column of smoke? Since I am the only person who survived the war, so what could this mean? When the narrator starts narrating the events of the story, she told us that I am afraid. Why is she afraid? Because she thinks that someone is coming. إذا بلشت أحداث القصة لما الراوي تحكي لنا إنه أنا خايفة لأني بعتقد إنه في حدا جاي لبيتي. How do we know that someone is coming? Because she saw a column of smoke. كونها شافت من بعيد عمود من الدخان بقترب من بيتها أكثر فأكثر فهي عرفت إنه في حدا حامل هذا العمود وبيمشي فيه لعند بيتها. Then she compared between the column of smoke that is uh, that is seen by her now and the column of smoke that was seen by her last year. بلشت تتقارن بين الدخان اللي شافته هاي السنة. والدخان اللي شافته السنة الماضية Last year it was a forest fire in the dead woods إذا تحكي لك السنة الماضية كانت حرائق غابات للأخشاب الغير مستعملة that is not used Okay, but this year it is a thin column like a pole هلأ هاي السنة الموضوع مختلف العمود هو عبارة عن عمود رفيع من الدخان And the first time I saw this column of smoke it was behind the clay bridge إذا أول مرة شافت هذا العمود من الدخان كان ورا مدينة كليبول ريدج. How far is كليبول ريدج from the narrator's house? كم تبعد مدينة كليبول ريدج عن بيت الناريتر الراوي؟ كليبول ريدج was 15 miles. إذا هي تبعد عن بيتها تقريبا 15 ميل. Though it looked closer and the smoke was coming, uh, coming from behind that. Beyond Claybore Ridge, there is Ogden Town. هلا بلشت تعدد لنا بالمدن. تحكي لك ورا مدينة Claybore Ridge في مدينة اسمها Ogden Town. هلا Ogden Town about ten miles further. يعني تبعد عن مدينة Claybore Ridge كمان عشر أميال. إذا لو سألتك how far is Ogden Town from the narrator house? هلا مدينة Ogden Town كم تبعد عن بيت الناريتر? Excellent, 25 miles. إذا هلا مدينة Claybore Ridge تبعد عن بيتها 15 وكمان 10 
توصل لمدينة أوغدن تاون، إذا أوغدن تاون كم تبعد عن عن بيت النريتر أو بيت الراوي؟ تبعد 25 ميل. So what did she tell us about Ogden Town? شو بدها تخبرنا عن مدينة Ogden Town? Look, there is no one left alive in Ogden Town. هلا المعلومة اللي بتخبرك إياها إنه ما في حدا في مدينة Ogden Town بقي على قيد الحياة. All the people in Ogden Town were dead. كل الناس في مدينة Ogden Town كانوا ميتين. Why? Because when the war when the war ended, all the people in Ogden Town were dead. إذا نتيجة الحرب خلفت إنه الناس في مدينة Ogden Town كلهم ماتوا. Okay. And now the narrator wants to tell us about what happened in Ogden Town. So listen carefully. I know because after the war ended and all the telephones went dead, my father, my brother Joseph and cousin David went in the truck to find out what was happening. And the first place they went was Ogden Town. They went there early in the morning. Joseph and David were really excited, but father looked serious. When they came back, it was dark. Mother had been worrying. They took so long. So we were glad to see the truck lights finally coming over Burden Hill, six miles away. They looked like beacons. They were the only lights anywhere, except in the house. No other cars had come down all day. We knew it was the truck because one of the lights, the left one, always blinked when it went over a bump. It came up to the house and they got out. The boys weren't excited anymore. They looked scared. And my father looked sick. Maybe he was beginning to be sick, but mainly I think he was distressed. My mother looked at him as he climbed down. What did you find? He said, bodies, just dead bodies. They're all dead. All? Okay, so in these two paragraphs, the narrator told us about what happened to Ogden Town. I know because after the war end ended and all the telephones went dead. What do you mean by the telephones went dead? متى منوصف التليفون إنه it went dead when it is not working. Okay, هون لاحظ إنه الرايتر استعارت كلمة dead أكثر من مرة في هاي الستوري. لما حكتنا dead words حكينا not used. أما التليفون went dead بمعنى not working. My father, my brother, my brother Joseph, and my cousin David went in the truck to find out what was happening in Ogden Town. إذا هي بتحكي لنا إنه والدها وأخوها وابن عمها ذهبوا إلى مدينة أوغدن تاون بواسطة الشاحنة حتى يشوفوا شو اللي صار في هاي المدينة. And the first place they went was Ogden Town. زي ما حكيت لك هم أول مدينة راحوا يشوفوا إيش اللي صار فيها هي مدينة أوغدن تاون. They went there early in the morning. In the morning. They refers to they عميم بتعود excellent. Her father, her brother Joseph, and her cousin David. They went there early in the morning. Joseph and David were really excited. هلا هدول الولاد كانوا متحمسين كتير لأنهم ما بعرفوا المكان اللي رايحين له. It was like a trip for them. يعني هم زي كأنهم طالعين برحلة. But her father looked serious. وما معنى serious هون بمعنى not laughing. يعني هو كان يعني عارف شو الاشي اللي عماله بيستنى. When they came back. It was dark. هلا هم راحوا in the morning. رجعوا متى? It was dark. In the evening, mother had been worrying. هلا الأم كانت قلقة عليهم. They took so long. ليش? لأنهم طولوا هم في مدينة أوغدن تاون. So we were glad and happy to see the truck lights finally coming over Burden Hills, six miles away. إذا هم شافوا التراك أو عرفوا التراك من مدينة بيردن هيل هلا هاي كمان مدينة ذكرت لنا اياها ان بيردن خلينا نعيد اول شيء حكيت لنا عن اوغدن تاون اوكي هلا بدها تحكي لنا عن بيردن هيل هلا بتحكي لك انه احنا شفنا التراك لايتس الضوء تاع التراك ضوء الشاحنه 
لما وصلوا على مدينة بيردن هيل كم تبعد مدينة بيردن هيل عنهم؟ 6 miles away okay they looked like beacons يعني كانوا بينين زي signals علامة من بعيد okay هلا كيف هم عرفوا انه هذا هاي علامة او انه هذا ضوء الترك they were the only lights anywhere لانه ما في كان اي شاحنة او اي سيارة except in the house يعني ما كان في ضوء في المنطقة الا البيت وضوء الشاحنة No other cars have come down all day. يعني بهذا اليوم ولا في سيارة إجت لا بلدتهم. We knew it was the truck because one of the lights, the left one, always blinked when it went over the pump. هلا هم ميزوا شاحنتهم لأنه في الضوء اليسار لهاي الشاحنة go on and off. ما معنى blink كمان مرة يتاسع to go on and off. كان برمش هذا الضوء لما يطلعوا على مطب. فهم عطول لما شافوا هذا الضوء برمش عرفوا انه هاي التراك او الشاحنة لابوها للكاتبة او الناريتر الراوي It came up to the house and they got out Got out from the truck يعني هم نزلوا من الشاحنة The boys weren't excited anymore هل الاطفال بعدهم متحمسين؟ No They looked scared يعني هم كانوا خايفين They, عم بتعود يا تاسع, they refers to the boys. And my father looked sick. هلا أبوها بلش يبين عليه المرض. Maybe he was beginning to be sick. But mainly I think he was distressed. يعني بشكل رئيسي هو كان مستاء. He was annoyed, okay? My mother looked at him as he climbed down. What did you find? هلا أول سؤال سألته أمها لأبوها. شو الإشي اللي لقيته في مدينة أوغدن تاون؟ He said Buddies just dead buddies They are all dead إذا المعلومة اللي خبرهم إياها والدها إنه كل الناس في مدينة أوغدن تاون were dead Okay So as you see in this picture All the people in Ogden Town were dead This is what the narrators Father and the two boys saw an Ogden town. هاي الأشياء اللي شافوها في مدينة Ogden town اللي هي جثث للناس اللي ماتوا. The last step in our lesson today, I have these two questions. The first one, what does the phrase the telephone went dead mean? هلا لما أحكي لك the telephones went dead, what does this mean? Excellent, it means It stopped or they stopped working. Number two, mention the three characters who went to Ogden Town and why. أعطيني التلات شخصيات اللي راحوا على مدينة Ogden Town and why did they go to Ogden Town. They were the narrator's father, her brother, Joseph, and her cousin, David. They went to Ogden Town To find out what was happening. إذا ليش راحوا على مدينة أوردن تاون حتى يشوفوا شو اللي حصل في هاي المدينة؟ لأنه التليفونات كان معطلة، كانت معطلة، فعشان هيك كانت الوسيلة الوحيدة حتى يعرفوا what happened to Ogden Town اللي هي to go and find out what was happening. Okay, okay, my lovely students, I will stop here today. In our next lesson, we are going to continue reading the next part of this story. Thank you very much.